right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Volkswagen Atlas. Uh, apparently, another company came here. They couldn't do it. I'm not sure what the hell happened. The guy said he was here in not even three minutes. Told them that he was going to send somebody with a wrecker and dollies. Uh, customer requested a wrecker and dollies. I don't know why. Um, I'm assuming, you know, they said something about steering column was stuck and something was stuck and the wheels were stuck. And I'm just assuming that the guy couldn't get it in neutral so these cars do have a neutral override <clears throat> so let's get out let's do what we gotta do get it in neutral get it loaded and all that other stuff You gotta replace this trap, it's broken. for hookups. Okay, let's see. So under here they did away with the holes. Which is super annoying. We have holes here, but I don't know if I want to grab those holes. Alright, we got control arms. That's what we're gonna go to. See if I can maneuver this without having to use skates first. And then if not, I'll use the skates. Volkswagens when you pop up the column the when you pop up the boot oh yeah. so these boots all right on all the Volkswagens they pop up you can just 
tug here, pull up, and then work your way around the corner. Again, always be careful because this part here is super brittle. Now, down there is where the release is, right here, the override. So you just push that back, right? So keep my foot in the brake because I don't want the car to roll. Pull that back like this, and then squeeze the shifter. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but that's it. So you slide that yellow piece back. I'm hoping you can see this. You slide the yellow piece back, put your foot in the brake, shift it, all right? And then that's it, it's in neutral. And now it should roll as long as the parking brakes were not put on. Steering lock, faulty, stop. There you go. That's that's the issue and it won't even let the car turn on. Give me something, if you hold this up. I know some of these electronic buttons, if you hold the button, it'll put it into gear, um, to power mode. All right, whatever. So we're not worried about that right now. So let's see, I'm gonna attempt to turn the steering wheel. <clears throat> All right. Now it should be in neutral and it should be able to roll. Alright, so as you can see, the parking brake is stuck on. Not a problem. Why they make skates. It's probably the issue the guy was having before. So the problem with these cars is that when you put them in park, a lot of the times the electronic parking brake, it likes to activate. And then that's where the issue comes in. All right. Now, we should be able to get it to roll. See? And when you use a snatch block, you can change the direction. And then sometimes this is where the snatch, um, the skates can be a little bit of a pain in the butt because it hits the corner of the bed and you end up with an issue, which is why it's good to have four skates. I don't like these skates in particular because they're too thick, they grip too much, and they don't let you slide. So we'll move this up a little bit. We only need the lift to go up. All right, there we go. Okay. Now, because we got the skates on it, we're going to change the direction of the steering wheel. straighten it out a little bit because if not it'll continue going that way mm -hmm. uh, let me get that other skate out of the way because it's causing it to shift and that's what we don't want
slide down a little bit, that's alright. I don't want my cable getting screwed up. Which is why I always recommend using more than one snatch block. Which I should have did in this video, but it is what it is. And of course now it wants to go that way. chain next time and that'll give you more distance but I think I'll have enough we just gotta remove the snatch box so we don't destroy anything okay okay let's see should have a little bit more room now That should be enough for me to put a strap on. This strap I gotta change. Um, it's no good anymore. I'm gonna use it for now. I'm only going not far. But I'll use it for now and then I will switch it when I get back. Still in neutral, so I gotta put that apart. Well, that's it, so. Yeah. Getting the skates out is always a pain in the butt. I like to wiggle them, eventually they'll slide out. The reason I don't like to leave them on, I, I've seen guys leave them on. Everybody has their own preference, it is what it is. I personally don't like leaving them on because once you have the car on skates, then now it's like the car is on you know, a skate and it can slide easily 
And what do you do if you gotta hit the brake hard enough and something happens, you know, you're gonna be screwed. I gotta cut these because they're not allowing me to close the box properly. strap this one up and then we'll put it in park and then we'll go deliver it and you'll see how I offload it so it's always good to have at least four skates because I say all four wheels are locked up you could use all four skates in this case the rear wheels are locked up and I was able to get the front in neutral so because I was able to put the transmission in neutral I have at least one set of wheels that roll versus four wheels that don't roll so let's say it was stuck you know like a mercedes-benz all four stuck then i could use four skates but i don't recommend getting the ba skates the uh, orange skates i don't like them i feel like they're too soft and they grip the concrete too much versus the green ones from Wreckmaster. those are my go-to skates i buy a hundred of those before i buy any orange ones I bought a set the last time and I don't even use them. I think I gave them away. I hated them. All right. Let's jump up here. Put the car back in park. Take my pictures. Notify the customer. And that's it. Okay. Just like that, it's on the bed. Now when towing vehicles backwards, I like to fold the mirrors in because the wind pressure will fold them backwards. And if they're, you know, electronic, you put a lot of pressure on the mirrors. All right, that's done. Take off my gloves. Uh, oh, I'm looking at my phone, it's over there. I'm out of here. I'm gonna take a picture for the gram and then go deliver it. I'll see you guys at the drop.
um, bringing the bed in and loosening the winch at the same time so that it just you know slides off like that how I do it right to the edge so the skates will pop out from underneath on both sides now what that does is you got to keep the cable tight though when you do it but you don't want the car to fall off the bed <clears throat> you just want it that it's holding it right at the edge of the bed and then you know once you get it to where you want it all right, so like now I can tilt the bed up. I can extend the bed out and put the car exactly where I want it. All right, so let's say like now it's perfect in the spot. All right, so now I'll drop the bed down. And you see the wheels are on the ground itself. better than that man what's nice is that this dealership has a lot of space this was like a dealership back in New York you like have no room anywhere always make sure your chains are tight when you do that because if you leave them uh, gapped out and you're bouncing around it could move over so you could either put them in the bed slots or put them like that and tighten them never leave it like this because it might look tight but guess what one bump like that it's loose it'll shift one way or the other so keep it centered keep it snug and that's it put everything away take my pictures and go home for the day and tomorrow's a new day all right that is the end of the video now i'm going to be taking my photos mark myself done go home so yeah so that's how we did this one with the uh you know get it into neutral parking breaker suck not a problem use skates uh any of the stuff that you see in my videos that you need you can reach out to bear motion uh bearmotion.com uh bear motion on instagram tiktok facebook and you can talk to sam and order anything you need um, some stuff you might be able to use a discount code Tomei127 um, Some stuff you won't be able to but whatever you can be grateful on whatever you can get the discount on and whatever you can't it is what it is 
um yeah so that's it all right guys you know the deal hit that uh thumbs up share subscribe to the channel click on the notification bell see you in the next one